Hello everyone, it is Lisa from Lisa Grateful Me and today is a wonderful day. I just have to start my video off with stating that it is my daughter-in-law's birthday and as a family we are gathering together tonight to go to dinner and go out for ice cream. You know, families are so precious and my little daughter-in-law is extremely precious to me. I consider each of my children um, gifts in my life, but she is certainly someone truly amazing. Her gifts and her attributes and her kindness and her love, and she's just beautiful. There's so many wonderful things to say about her, so I just want to wish her a happy birthday. And Kenley, if you're watching, happy birthday, and I love you. Okay, it is time for our yearly savings challenges. And I just have to bring up the elephant in the room. My last video, I said there would be no more glitches, and there were glitches. I'm working on this, folks. I think that I could almost cry. Um, it's been very frustrating. And I'm not really one that gets negative very often, but this video better <laughs> be smooth sailing. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I hope that you stick around. And on this channel, we do a lot of savings challenges. And we use those savings challenges to benefit our lives, to increase our savings, to pay off debt, and to move forward and bless the lives of others. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> I think today, um, let's count the money. How much money do we have? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 125, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 145 dollars. So let's start with our girl power challenge. I'm gonna put this right here. All right, and what, let's put this on top of here to hold it down. That's my handy, oh, it's not even heavy enough. Okay, we're gonna do this. There we go. So this is our Girl Power Challenge. It's available at the Happy Mailbox Co. If you're new, my daughter-in-law and I create savings challenges and they are available on our Etsy store, in our Etsy store, the Happy Mailbox Co. So January's completed, then we moved right on to February, and then from February we moved on to March, and now it's time for April, and I need to really show this some love. So I have a little cheat sheet. Let me look right here. This is going to get $80. I knew we were we needed to put quite a bit of money in here. So there's 20, 40, 60, and now $80. And let's see how much it will have in it now. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140. You know, I'm gonna change out these fives here for 20. All right, there we go. So I need to color in eight spots. How's everyone's day been? Hopefully everyone has started your day off in a good way and that you're planning on just having the best of days. I know sometimes in the morning when I take just a few minutes before I hop out of bed and tell myself the type of day that I'm going to have, it really helps. And with it being my daughter-in-law's birthday, I automatically knew it was going to be a fabulous day. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So I need to go clear to here. I better mark this one so while I talk, I don't forget. So um, here are some exciting things happening in my family this week. My son went to prom last week, but he is also going to prom this week. And so that's exciting for him. And let's see what else has gone on. Oh, it's my niece's birthday as well on Sunday. So our, my entire family's getting together to celebrate her birthday. So lots of things happening. All right, there is the Girl Power Challenge. And I am using this particular challenge for my Christmas. 
And at the end, I think I will have like $1,900 saved. I'll probably do another small Christmas savings challenge, but that's what I'm going to use that for. Okay, now on to my beautiful, elegant, feminine flower challenge. This just, this is my personality. If you need to know it, this is it. Okay, and it is going to get 10. So we, oh no, actually it's gonna get 30. So there's 20, 25, and 30. And let's find a really pretty pink to color in. So I need to color in two rows. Each icon in this challenge, in this entire um, savings binder is $5. And I think that's another reason why I really love this is that it's very doable and it just kind of is an easy, quick win. And it helps me, you know, but it's a quick and easy win to complete each monthly challenge. But at the end of the year, there will still be quite a bit of money available for me and to use how I choose. So I'm loving that. So $30 is going inside the April envelope. And now, can I get all the money out here? Let's see. All right. Let's get these all these five situated. Okay. So now there's 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Let's say you guys want to do this challenge, but you do not want the amounts to be $5. Let's say you want them to be bigger or smaller. Um, when you purchase this um, savings challenge and the envelopes, there's one that is blank. So it still has all the, the pretty flowers, but you get to choose how much each icon is worth. So it fits any budget. All right. Moving on to our holiday binder. Our holiday binder, Mother's Day, is going to get 10. And I am normally right, I mean, with it, with holidays. I normally have gifts way before that they're even, um, the holiday even comes around. But this time, I have kind of been stumped as to what to get my mom. And so I need to um, kind of figure that out and get going on that. I do know what I'm going to get my daughter-in-laws though. I saw it yesterday and I'm very excited. I think it's really pretty. I don't get them much. I just get them a little something to tell them how much I love them. But uh, yeah, so any Mother's Day gifts ideas out there? I would love some suggestions. Okay, let's pull out my L bucks, when I got looking through my money, I realized that I had some L bucks. Now this savings challenge is by Donna Powered by Creativity, and it is so cute. And the L bucks represent a savings challenge that it's all about Lisa. You know, every now and then you have to have something all about you. <laughs> so let's go through these and see if I, which L bucks we have. And the rest we will use for our sinking funds. Let's see. Well, so far, oh, here's an L buck. Another one. Another one. Another one. Woohoo! Love, love, love. Lovely Lisa. That's what I can say about these L bucks. <laughs> All right. So, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight L bucks. Well, I can appreciate that. Um, I think this chart you save a hundred. And so there, let me just mark this. Oh, that needs to be sharpened. I think it's time to sharpen my colored pencils again. I'll probably say that for the next 50 videos. All right, because I'm just procrastinating sharpening my colored pencils. I don't know, there's just something about it. <laughs> Maybe because there's so many. All right, this is good enough. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. I'm gonna color it in clear till here. So it looks like these L bucks will be 
this chart will be filled in before I know it. And I was thinking, oh, I'll go get a massage or I'll go get my hair done or something. Well, guess what season it is? It is flower planting season almost here in Utah. We have a couple more weeks and I love plants. So most likely all this is going to go to plant money which is a perfect thing for me because it is one of my favorites. Not only do I love to purchase the plants, but I love to plant them and watch them grow. Okay, so let's see really quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, there'll be a hundred dollars. And I will go ahead and add that to my lady um, envelope. Okay, we have just a few dollars left to do our sinking fun challenge, and I need to grab my dice, and my chair's going to squeak. Okay, there's one thing that you can count on, my squeaky chair and me making mistakes, but that's all right. <laughs> that's just how I roll. I am always a work in progress, but you know what? I appreciate that. I appreciate the idea that I uh, get to, you know, have a work in progress. So this is from Kayla over at KTW Planning and Budgeting, and she is one of my great friends. I just love her, and I appreciate all the things she creates. So for my sinking funds, I roll the D10 dice, and um, then I just add whatever amount of money I have up here on top of the stack. So let's roll and see which sinking fund we're going to add money to. All right, our first one is number four, which is miscellaneous. And if you are noticing, I have my new trackers in here, and I went in and put how much money I had in each category. So that's super fun. And um, after I'm done finishing, Plane. I'll go ahead and add to this as well. Now, sinking funds are funds that you save for things that you know that you'll need and you'll end up using. They're kind of a revolving fund where you add money and then you take it out and then you add money and you take it out. So that's why I like the tally sheet because I know where I'm going to be and how much money I have, you know, for example, health. Um, I actually use this for a medical um and medications because I have three type one diabetics. So right here I can look and say, all right, I have $60, but maybe next time I go to the doctor, I mean, go pick up their prescriptions. I needed that 60. I would, you know, use that money and then I would restock this fund again. Okay. Sorry. Back to miscellaneous. That was a big, a lot of info right there. Okay. I'm going to add a dollar because that's what I have sitting here at the top. Now, I, um, you know, just do my sinking funds with money that's left because right now my priorities are paying off my one debt that, well, we have two debts. We have a mortgage and we have one credit card. Okay, let's roll again. What category? Number seven. Number seven is pets. And guess what, guys? My dog got his YouTube privileges again taken away. It's it's a back and forth thing with him. Um, when I film, I like to have the natural light come in and he can see all the people walking by and he just wants to bark at them. Okay, number four again is miscellaneous. Well, number four is the number to be rolling today, I suppose. Speaking of miscellaneous, if you don't have a miscellaneous fund, oh my, help, one more. If you do not have a miscellaneous fund, just kidding, you really need one. Um, you need a kind of like a buffer or when all those really little teeny things pop up that you don't budget for come around. Um, and I tell you what, there are tons of those in life. It's amazing. You think you've got all your budget covered and then you realize that you didn't. Okay, I'm going to roll that again, actually. Oh, and we're on four. So miscellaneous gets another dollar. Okay, roll again. Zero, which is 10, which is kids. 
I haven't put money in this one, it seems like, for a while, so I'm glad that I'm adding that. All right. Number eight. Number eight is shopping. This is probably my favorite one to put money in. Every now and then, I just like to have a little shopping spree, and when I want to, I have money available. Okay, zero again, so back to kids. That's great. Okay, let's roll. This one is a six, and number six on here is my food. And let's see, I think it's this one. There we go, and it's getting a dollar. So as you can see, I'm just adding a dollar today, but every little bit helps. And if you're new to the budgeting world, you'll hear, hear that often, my emergency fund. Now, my emergency fund is completely funded for the year. Every year I do $1,000, and this is just going to go towards helping me achieve my $1,000 next year, or if a major emergency comes up, I guess. All right, two. Number two is health. Yes, in the budgeting community, you will hear often that every little bit helps, and a dollar here and a dollar there adds up. Okay, this is a five, five and two two dollar bills. So the next few three categories are going to get extra love. So what does that say? That says a two, and that is health. So health is going to get a five dollar bill. Okay, two more rolls, everyone. Awesome, back to kids. Sometimes I've had, I've had a couple subscribers say that, you know, Lisa, how come you don't have this planned out exactly how much money you're putting in to all your envelopes and you're just leaving it to fate? <laughs> and, and I really am right now at this time in life. Number three. Um, there will be a time when I, after I get some things taken care of, that I will really focus and have exact amounts for um, these. But until then, this is just kind of what we're doing. Just as long as I touch bases with it and consistently add money. Well, everyone, thank you for being here today. I am excited. Um, here's some new things about what you can see on our channel or what we will be experiencing. So Monday we do our mini savings challenges and I have a new mini savings challenge I'm going to be starting. On Wednesday, I am starting my road to 10K subbies and Veronica over at the 40 Plus Life um, has a savings challenge. And so as I gain new subscribers, I'm going to be working on that, filling that out. So I'm really excited about that. And then I have been working with my daughter-in-law really hard in creating things for the Lisa Grateful Me store, our Shopify store, and there are some fun stuff. Um, that's all I can say is that it is going to be so fun. Um, very, I don't know, it, it when you create things are some things you like more than others. Well, these creations I think are some of our best ones yet. So so much fun and so many, you know, good things to look forward to. Well, everyone, oh, and also we'll have a debt update pretty soon here at the end of April. And I'm very pleased with some of the progress that we've made. Well, I just wanted to express my gratitude for each of you. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I hope you have great, you spend some time with your family and if you're, you know, you live far away from them, at least text them and send them a message and uh, connect. And I will see you all later on the next video. Bye.